Rebecca Stern. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I directed Well Groomed, and this is Adrian Pope, one of the dog groomers in the movie. Hi, my name is Adrian Pope. I'm from Conway, South Carolina. And this is my dog, Gucci. He's a toy poodle. Uh, he has a little bit of color on him right now. He has a, a black on his head and I have red on his paws. Oh, and he also has, this was done a few weeks ago. He oh, has Mickey look. Mouse back, but it's growing out. <laughs> How long have you been doing dog grooming, Adrian? I have been a dog groomer since 1992. Encore loves the grooming table. When he's on the grooming table, he is the perfect dog. He doesn't really like a lot of people, but he's definitely coming out of his shell. He's taken a while for people to get used to him, but he loves the grooming table and he's kind of connected to me. Some people think it's mean and the dogs don't love it. If the dogs don't love what, what you see, what we do, there's no way they would let us do it. They definitely get more attention than the average dog. If you see a pink poodle walking down the street or just a regular black poodle, that pink poodle is going to get more attention than that black poodle. Their tail's wagging and they enjoy it. I mean, Encore will push you off a table to get on a table. And at the photo shoot that Rebecca can vouch for that if he yeah. saw a table and if he wasn't on a leash or if i didn't have him on a tight leash the very first thing he did was jump on that table yeah. before we even got to the uh, spot we're supposed to be at i would say within that year of 2017 i probably put 75 hours of time standing in front of the table over the nine month period grooming encore well when i'm doing a uh, a large dog like encore i probably put probably at least three to five hundred dollars and die on him. Of course, when I go to a dog show, I cannot go to a dog show without spending money. I love to buy shampoos, new products, and then also spend money on my props and presentation. So tell, tell us about your businesses. Do you work with dogs? I assume so. <laughs> I actually have a mobile grooming business. I started in 1994. I've been mobile since then, so I'm going on 25 years this July. And then in 2004, we opened a boarding kennel at our house. So I, you know, work with dogs, I would say seven days a week. I'm pretty much never without a dog, except when we go to a restaurant to go to dinner. I love to do my creative grooming and go to the dog shows to do creative. Go to wellgroomfilm.com and see a screening near you. If the film festival is coming to a town near you, you need to go watch it. Well groomed, it's well worth it. You can check us out on Facebook and Instagram too.